So the defense, uh, you know, stepping back and uh, let you shoot uh, three pointer after the three pointer after the three pointer. Was it a bit uh, disrespectful? <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, I got a tough game to guard in my opinion because if you get too close, I don't need a lot of moves to get by you. But if you sag off, um, I'm pretty confident in shooting the three. Um, so, I mean, teams can continue to do that and hopefully I can shoot over 50% from three this year. So uh, this is a uh, promise. It's not a promise, but uh, if I, if I stay healthy, I'm just confident in myself. You know, um, with this type of offense, the way we move the ball, it, it creates a lot of wide open shots. Um, so I think it's just going to take some time to get used to people going under and under and playing with me. But uh, <laughs> that's only going to be able to work for so long. I'm, I'm positive in that. If someone uh, have told you that uh, you wouldn't dunk in a game, but you would uh, have scored four times from the three-point line, what uh, would would be your reaction? I, I went to Kenny and, uh, during halftime after I had that, uh, that Sasha gave me the pass before the half, and I looked at him, I said, you know, a few years back, I would have dunked that. And I felt like I could have dunked that, but my body at 34 is making business decisions, and I'm not <laughs> mad at that, you know? So I, I, I'll just take the layup at the end of half. Yeah, but uh, we should expect, uh, I don't know, a dunk, a, a poster dunk or something. I mean, you're Sak Sak Makisic. Yeah, no, no, no. That's, you know, that's, that I want everybody to keep thinking that so they let me shoot more threes. <laughs> just just think I want to drive and drive, drive. But no, I don't. I just want to step back and shoot the three. But if you get too close and harass me, <laughs> I have to go. Just the player I am, I have, you know, this is coach's philosophy for me. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen you uh, last time. I'm, I'm trying not to get in trouble right now, so I'm just playing it cool, man. Uh, We've seen you last time being in Las Vegas with uh, Sasa. What did you tell him? Uh, you should come next year or what? Uh, no, no. Um, I was with my wife and we both wanted to see Sasha, so we, we just kind of met him at the, in the lobby, but... I think we just had a drink and just talked and, you know, I wished him good luck um, on the NBA season. Um, you know, for whatever reason, Europeans uh, don't like America so much. And he was in Sacramento, so that's kind of tough because it's such a big country. So, you know, I'm trying to say, you know, it's not that bad. Don't watch the news, stuff like that. But nah, he's back. That's all that matters. <laughs> How does it feel sharing the floor with him? Uh, it's amazing. You know, um, it, it's just like we're picking up where we left off. Of course, we still have to get used to each other because we have different plays and different tendencies. But, you know, Sasha is he's the best player in, in Europe easily. So, you know, you just got to let him do his thing and just sit back. Is he also your favorite teammate? Yeah, he's my he's my favorite uh, all time teammate. He's my favorite EuroLeague player of all time. Easily. No lie. Uh, you know that Spanulis might see this video, right? <laughs> I'm going to text Spanulis after and let him know. <laughs> Right and, yeah. One last thing about uh, FS, what's uh, your thoughts going through this game? Um, tough team. Uh, you know, they have a lot of really good players. Uh, I'm looking forward to the matchup with Elijah Bryant. You know, it's always physical. It's always tough. Um, so hopefully we can go there. They have a new arena. Looking forward to getting to see that and, you know, um, have a fun game. Thank you very much. Thank you.